don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. Michael is the son of Sonny Francis, former underboss with the Colombo family. Sonny has since passed in 2020. In October of 1975, Michael became an inducted member to his father's family. Ironically, one of the guys inducted with him that day was Anthony Guzzo's father, Vito Guzzo Sr. Inside of five years, Michael had a captain's position and by 1986 was listed as number 18 on Fortune Magazine's the 50 biggest mafia bosses. I'm not going to go into the specifics surrounding Michael's departure from the life. Nevertheless, in 1995, he made that decision. Important to keep in mind, I didn't make my own decision to walk away until 23 years later in 2018. As far as errors go, that's a substantial time difference. All right, today I'm going to do a follow-up of Michael Francis's video reviewing my appearance on Inside. Now before I begin, I just want to make clear that Michael's video, in my opinion, was very respectful. But although we both were in the life, we come from two different time periods. And although people may have different opinions or disagree about something, does not mean that there's any brewing drama. If there's one thing that both Michael and I have in common, is that we don't entertain negativity. The first thing Michael disagrees with me on is when I say that the honor, loyalty, and respect have been replaced with selfishness and greed. Michael mentions the word corruption and says that there was always corruption inside that life. However, my statement had nothing to do with corruption. We were all criminals and we're all corrupt, myself included. By making a broad statement does not mean that every single guy in a life has no honor, loyalty, and respect. However, when you see 80 to 90% of the guys have nothing but selfishness and greed, my statement has a lot of warrant. With regard to suing, I could give you an example. Joey DiBenedetto told me about suing the place for money, and I'll quote him. He told me, you know we're not supposed to sue, but fuck them, both Ronnie and I both sued. And he was talking about Ronnie and Gialenzo. According to Joey, Ronnie was one time bit by somebody's dog and sued over it. Obviously, if you have a legit business and somebody sues you, you're allowed to counter sue to defend yourself. In regard to the stocks and bonds, this was not part of my ceremony, but it was told to me. I believe I specifically said I'm not 100% sure if that's still in effect today. During the interview, I mentioned that the five New York families sat on the commission. Michael mentions that not only did he hear from his father, he heard from Carmine Persico that there were other families besides the five families that sat on the commission. However, I never said that it was only the five families that sat on the commission. Throughout the whole interview, I was basically talking about New York. But as you could see, this is a photo I created from my blog post, The History of the Commission, which clearly depicts Al Capone out of Chicago. And as time went by, more non-New York bosses held commission seats. Michael was correct when he stated that there are rules and there are policies. However, I would call them rules and principles. And principles are what we live by in that life. Michael said that he never heard the using of explosives were frowned upon. The reason it is, and it's hardly ever used, is it brings too much heat. Law enforcement views it as a terroristic act. When I mention Frankie DeChico getting blown up, that's correct. But in New York, that was an isolated incident as far as mob hits go. Michael was unsure by what I meant by breaking the rules on a daily basis. Once again, for me, rules and principles are one and the same. But in all fairness, Michael mentions that I wasn't being specific, so let me be specific. As a friend or an inducted member, when you're speaking to another member, you're obligated to speak truthfully. It's where the honor and the respect take place. Michael, being a former capo regime, you should be familiar with this. However, in my time, I've seen and witnessed guys in that life lie to each other every single day. You also can't call another friend a liar. This also goes on all the time. They're calling each other liars. When I was in the life, guys were lying to each other every day, and I'll give an example. John's brother spanked him. John, do me a favor. Don't tell Joe Cafe we did this score together. 
So basically he's telling me that if a captain asks me about it, I have to lie to him. One of the guys in our crew, hey John, if Big John asks you this, tell him this. So the guy's asking me to lie to our captain. Or well, here's a famous one. John, tell him we only made 5,000 and we'll whack up the other 10 together. If my captain asks me how much did you make, I'm supposed to lie to him. Michael, I think that you might have been mistaken. You said that I said that Maya Lansky created the five families and the commission. What I did say was the creation of the commission was the idea of Maya Lansky. Actually, Maya Lansky and Arnold Rothstein came up with an idea, the board of directors. It was suggested to Luciano who created the commission. I was told by an old timer that years ago the bosses were called fathers because a father is looked at as the head of a family. Michael mentions he's never heard of this before, and that's fine, he hasn't heard of it. I heard it. It doesn't mean it's true or it doesn't mean it's not true. Michael mentioned that I said that families were given territories geographically. What I did say was they cut their own turf out in the beginning. And as time went by, all the families had operations in all the five boroughs. Michael also mentioned that during his time, he was able to operate in all the five boroughs like I was myself. Although I wasn't talking about Michael's time during the 70s, or 80s, or early 90s, I was speaking about way back in the very beginning. During my time, we operated all over New York and it was never a problem. I explained that anyone that is not a member of that life is considered a civilian. I've heard many guys in the life use that term civilian. Michael refers to anybody that's not in the life as a sucker. I've also heard that term used a lot as well. The reason I don't use that term is my entire family are working people. Both my grandfathers were hardworking people, so I'm not going to disrespect them by calling them suckers. I would never use that word to describe anyone who gets up in the morning, goes to work, and makes an honest living. Michael even mentions the Pope as being a sucker. Michael, I have to strongly disagree. No matter what a person's religion is or faith is, any man of the cloth will never be considered a sucker to me. Michael said that the boss and the underboss do not have the same power. I made a statement that it's similar and I'll explain. I did say that the boss is the head of the family. During my time, the underboss held just as much power as the boss, but obviously a boss could make the final decision. I was fully aware that the boss ruled the family. I also said that a boss is in charge of everything that goes on underneath him. The reason I made that statement was because at the time our underboss was Stevie Creer. Our acting boss was Matty Madonna. However, guys in our family would always say, Stevie's our guy, meaning that Stevie made the decisions. Michael mentioned that made guys are not called friends. He's incorrect, but there's a reason why he doesn't know about this. In Michael's video, he mentions Vito Genovese and he says the following, and I quote, that was a different era. Michael walked away from the life in 1995. It's a very, very long time ago. Michael, as of 2018, everybody called another guy in that life a friend. I could do an entire video on how many times guys in that life came over to me and said, he's a friend, or is he a friend? Michael stated that everybody was a friend of ours, Amika Nostra. Michael, this is true. We refer to each other as Amika Nostra. But for those of you who don't speak Italian, let me translate Amika Nostra for you. It means our friend. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to give some more clarification on some of the answers I gave on Insider. I also wanted to be more clear for some of the things that Michael was unsure of what I was talking about. Once again, I want to say that I do believe Michael's video was done in good taste. I respect the way he carries himself. Michael has been doing this longer than anyone on YouTube and he does a very good job at it. I'm sure everybody watches his show. If you don't, go check him out. I had to throw on my ratchet shirt for this part of the video. If you like this video, you can hit the like button. Also, give Ratchet Clothing a peek for your summertime clothing. Thank you. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Thank you. Well, just another example in the mob you never knew about. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description for this video.